each time you meditate, take stock of your mind. What kind of mind state are you bringing to the meditation? If you find that you're upset about something, you're carrying that into the meditation, it's going to cause trouble. Or if you're feeling lazy, that's going to cause trouble too. So do what you can to straighten out your attitude first. Sometimes we think that the meditation is what's going to straighten out the attitude, and sometimes that does happen. But if you can detect a problem right from the start, deal with it right from the start. If you're feeling lazy, you think in ways that will get you more motivated. If you find that you lack energy, think in ways that will energize you. As the Buddha said, there is the potential for effort, the potential for energy in everybody. So find it. And there's also the potential for energy in the mind, ways of thinking that give you energy. If you find that the mind is in a down mood, think in ways that will lift it up. The fact that you're here meditating is a good thing. That you have time to work on your mind, that's a good thing. There are many people out there in the world who don't have this opportunity. So you want to take advantage of it while you've got it. In other words, take stock of your mind and think of ways of bringing the mind into the proper balance so it really is ready to settle down with the breath. Because the work of the breath is refined work. It requires that you take your time, you take your pains to do it well. You can't just rush in and hope that it's going to take care of all your problems. As with any skill, you have to be willing to go through the proper steps and do them with a lot of care. Because after all, it is your own mind that you're looking after here, so you want to show care for your mind. And John Sawat would often start his Dharma talks by saying, try to give rise to a sense of inspiration, give rise to a sense of confidence that we're doing something really good here, something that's worth taking our time over. And as for the emotions that we're bringing into the meditation, do what you can to deal with them right from the start. So that it'll interfere less and less with the work that's got to be done. And then the work that you're doing is going to turn around and help you deal with those emotions in a lot more detail, with a lot more effectiveness. So take stock of your mind. When you find the mind is ready to settle down with the breath, okay, take stock of the breath. Use the breath to consolidate what whatever balance you've been able to attain. And it's that way the meditation grows, and the mind gets more and more tame. It gets more and more willing to do the work of the meditation, because you're looking after its needs. <laughs>